angel activation. Hebrews 1. Are not they all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? Lord, I ask that you send and release your angels into this home, family, ministry, church, and business. The Bible says angels are ministering spirits sent to minister to those who will inherit salvation. As I am praying for your beloved child, I believe they will experience this promise of the angels ministering to them. The word minister means to give service, care, aid, and attend to in wants or necessities. Lord, release your angels to bring service to any area of their life that needs it, to give care and aid to them, their spouse, children, family, health, businesses, and ministries and every part of their life. Lord, send the angels to attend to their every want and need. The word minister also means to contribute to in comfort or happiness. Lord, send the angels to minister comfort and happiness to their mind, their will, and emotions in every part of their soul. Send them to contribute comfort and happiness to their marriage, their children, family, and all their relationships, right now, in Jesus' name. Judges 5 Curse Mero, said the angel of the Lord, Curse its inhabitants bitterly, because they did not come to the help of the Lord to help the Lord against the mighty. Lord, the day Deborah and Barak fought against the mighty Sisera and his 900 iron chariots, they won the battle. And during it, the Bible says that angels came to assist them in the fight. Lord, your beloved child is in a battle right now. So send your angels to help them win against the Nephilim, just like the angels helped Deborah and Barak. One of the angels that was there that day cursed the people of Meros because they did not help the Lord fight against the mighty man Sisera. I believe that when the angels come now, they will not curse this household, but rather bless it because this child of God is helping you fight against the mighty. Lord, release the help of the angels right now, along with the extraordinary blessings and breakthroughs that come from fighting with the Lord against the giants. Psalm 35 Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive against me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. Lord, I believe right now that you are sending your angels to fight against the enemies that are battling against your beloved child. Lord, I ask that you send forth your holy angelic army to fight and defeat the evil giants that have infected their family's bloodline. Draw at your spear. Stop those who are pursuing them. Let their enemies be brought to confusion. Let the angel of the Lord drive them away like chaff in the wind. Lord, make the way of the Nephilim 
dark and slippery. Command your angels to chase and pursue them until they are completely vanquished in every area of their life. We praise and exalt you for your goodness towards your people. Psalm 91 I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. For He will give His angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Lord, I praise you for giving your angels charge over your beloved child and every part of their life. I decree the angels will lift them up and over every assault so they will not dash their foot against a stone or be hurt or afflicted in any way. Because of you and the protection of your angels, they will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent they will trample underfoot. This includes that old serpent, Satan, and all his Nephilim seed. Psalm 92 